Hey there, my name is Lisa and I'm from the Happy Team with Holo. I'm here today to show you how to use the command hchapcreate. We created this command as a part of our phase one rad tools to help jumpstart you for creating applications on Holochain. So let's jump right in. All right, so here we are located inside of the React GraphQL template repo. You can find this repo inside of the Holochain organization in GitHub. We'll be referencing today the list of commands that are already available for reading inside of the README therein. The first step you'll need is to install Nick Shell on your operating system. If you don't have Nick Shell already on your operating system, we've provided the one line command there for you to copy, paste, and enter into your terminal, and it will start installing for you. If you are on a Windows device or a Mac OS uh, Catalina, there are a few additional steps you'll need to take to install Nix Shell on your device, so please do reference our link here provided listed Development Environment Setup Guide. Once you have Nix Shell on your OS, go ahead and, and skip on to step one, like I will do. All right, so step one, get Holonix to enter the development environment. In order to enter into our development environment, we'll just reference the Nix Shell command and point it to the URL of choice, which is our URL, which is our Holochain URL. Holochain.log. This includes all the packages from Holonix. All right, so we'll copy that and just paste it right in. And it will start to unpack and install that for us. While it does that, I will go ahead and reference our second command. So our second command is run the hap create command. So the hap create command is titled hd hap create. Let's go ahead and copy that. Then we'll need to pass a single argument afterward, which is going to be the title of the application we would like to create. So you can go ahead and see that um, it's cleared out. And one thing I'd like to mention is that our current, um, as this is phase one of our RAD tools, the current repo that we'll be referencing, this repo itself, will be the one that's copied and mirrored into your um, local environment. It is a notes application. So just to reference that reality, We'll go ahead and title it, title it accordingly. All right, so my notes app. All right, so now it's download, copying and downloading that into your local directory. And we'll just read the last step, which is to start your new app. So once it's complete, all you need to do is change directories into that newly created directory and then run the command yarn start. So let's check it out, it's already done. Just clear that up. I can show you that it's already here in my parent directory. Um, so let's just cd into that and run the command yarn start. Great. So now it's started and you can see that there's a large output of data that comes at the onset of this. That is expected and it actually is a combination of two different logins, logs. Uh, one is the log for your SIM2H, which is a networking that we're using. Currently you're on the local SIM2H and the other is for your conductor. It'll also start up the UI in your default browser. So no need to rush to your browser, do that manually. Just sit tight and it will open the notes application UI there for you. So here we are, it's starting. Okay, and here we are. The notes app has successfully appeared on our browser. So we can just go ahead and create our first note. My first Holo chain note. All right. Holo chain apps are so easy to develop now. Great. Time to talk to peers. All right, so this is speaking to uh, one thing I would like to address, which is how do we connect to our peers? We're on a, a distributed system. How does that work? And one thing I would like to point out is right now, because you're located on your or running the application on a local SIM2H, you can open up other nodes, other agents on the same SIM2H and connect those peers together on the local SIM2H. If, however, you would like to connect to other friends or other peers on different in different devices in different parts, then you will need to connect to a more public SIM2H, this is a public SIM2H itself, and you can connect that way. And it would be a great way for you to start to learn how distributed systems can connect, so that's great. 
Um, all right, so we'll go ahead and remove this and we can just edit our notes. Um, so one thing I'd like to point out for all you UI devs is that we already did ship out of the box Apollo logs here in the console. So any of the actions we've already created and, and done are actually visible as logs inside of your console. So, you, so all the relatable CRUD functionalities are already in place and the logs are um, visible here. So you can dive in for some more investigation and fun. All right, so I'm also going to show you a quick tour of the code itself inside of the code editor. So let's head, head back into our notes app. So my notes app or whatever you titled your application. And I'm just going to type in code and then a dot to open up my, um, to open up this current directory inside of uh, VS Code. I already have VS Code quick commands as a part of my terminal so I can use that. If you don't just navigate to the application just created inside of whatever code editor you would like. Once there, you can go ahead and, and compare your view with mine, which is this. So there are a couple different directories. I'd like to point out one is the DNA source and the other is a UI source. You can see that the UI and the DNA, which is the backend, are um, both available for you and separate. So we'll dig into the DNA source first. So go ahead and enter into that. And then you can visit the code that's written in the HDK, which is for Holochain um, and in Rust by visiting the zones and looking at the code they're in. So there could be multiple zones for other applications. This application as a start only has one. So go inside of the note zone and you can visit the Rust code that references the HDK there. So some good learning can take place. Um, if you're a UI dev, just head straight to the UI source and you can out legally jump into the source directory, subdirectory, and see that we have the GraphQL schemas, Apollo client um, setup, and also the React basic views there for you. We also have a couple com uh, conductor config TML files. This is the way for you to play with the inner workings of Holochain itself as it has listed the agents and the specific instances of DNAs, um, DNAs being again your backend, and the different logging rules and network URLs for, for you to, to view and display and to modify should you wish. As I listed before, this, was, this is actually the WebSocket that is being used for your SIM2H. Currently, it is your local host. If you ever did wish to change that forward going, it would be here. All right. Well, I hope this generates some good, con good ideas, good inspiration, good questions. Please leave those comments and questions and thoughts below in the video. Um, let us know what your thoughts are about this video and how we can connect and, and um, grow our community more, grow our app creation more. We're so excited to join you in this time and thank you again for watching our video.